Hi guys, good afternoon. Uh, let us start with the illustration 44. Uh, in last videos, I have completed till illustration 42. 43, I will take it later. 44 will start. This is a joint and byproducts, which is CMA group 1 intermediate costing subject. Uh, if I complete 44 and 40, 44 and 45, the joint and byproducts will finish. Uh, let us start with the illustration 44, page number 294 intermediate group one before that if you are not yet subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel that is a cml leaf and more update click on bell icon so you will get the upcoming videos let us start with the solving problems uh, illustration 44 uh, in the course of manufacturer of the main product p by product a and b also emerge uh, emerge the joint expenses of manufacture amount 1,19,550 all the three products are processed further after separation and sold as per the detail given below uh, they are given detail main product P by product A and B sales 90,000, 60,000, 40,000 cost incurred after separation 6,000, 5,000, 4,000 cost as percentage on sales 25%, 20%, 15% uh, total fixed uh, selling expenses are 10 percent of total cost of sales which are opposed to the three products uh, three products in the ratio 20 is to 40 is to 40 uh, prepare statement showing the apportionment of the joint cost to the main product and two byproducts if the byproduct a is not subjected to the further processing and sold the point of separation for which uh, there is a market at 58,500 without incurring any selling expenses. Would you advise the disposal at the stage show the workings? So they are given question. Read it once again twice. If you are not understanding while solving, you can understand what is the question, what they are asking. Read it twice and now let us start with the solution. This is no twist. Just some points only you can understand means you will get to know. Uh, let us start with the solution statement showing computation of share of joint expenses. We are calculating joint of share expenses. Particular take main product P, by product A, B and total. Just make the columns sales. Uh, sales 90,000, 60,000, 40,000 whatever they are given we are writing 90,000, 60,000, 40,000 totally 1,90,000. Now profit. Profit they didn't give directly. So profit as per percentage on sales says they are given 90,000 into 25 percent you will get this answer 22,500 90,000 into 25 percent 60,000 into 20 percent and 40,000 into 15 percent you will get the amount one I will calculate 90,000 into 25 percent 90,000 into 25 percent you will get 22,500 this one so 60,000 into 20 percent 40,000 into 15 percent you will get this amount and total it will come 40,500 so just minus sales minus profit you will get the cost of sales 90,000 minus 22,500 you will get 67,500 60,000 minus 12,000 48,000 40,000 minus 6,000 34,000 1 lakh 90 minus 41 49 500 you will get answer now selling expenses how they calculated selling expenses you can see the adjustment here selling expenses total uh, total cost of sales we got 1,49,500 this is only here main twist they are telling total fixed selling expenses are 10% on total cost of sales total cost of sales 1,49,500 if you made it into 10% you will get 14,950 uh, 14,950 because 1,49,500 into 10% total fixed selling expenses are 10% of total cost of sales which are apportioned to the three products uh, products in the ratio of 20 to 40 to 40 first we have to make this apportionment uh, first we have to calculate on this cost of sales 1 lakh 49500 into 10% 14950 we have calculated 14950 now we have to apportion it how to apportion selling expenses uh, 40, 40,950 whatever we have calculated into this one 20 by 100 40 40 into 20 uh, 40 plus 40 plus 20 will get 100 so 14,950 into 20 by 100 the same thing 14,950 into 40 by 100 this one so we will get the answer this one you can calculate here 14,950 into 20 by 
hundred will get two nine nine zero the same thing so we have to calculate the same here fourteen thousand nine fifty fourteen thousand nine fifty we have to calculate one lakh forty nine five hundred into ten percent we'll get fourteen thousand nine fifty fourteen thousand nine fifty into twenty by hundred total so same thing fourteen thousand nine fifty into Forty by hundred, now fourteen thousand nine fifteen to forty by hundred will get five nine eight zero five nine eight zero totally fourteen thousand nine fifty. Now we have to minus it. We'll get manufacturing cost sixty seven five hundred minus two nine nine zero. We'll get sixty four five ten forty eight thousand minus five nine eight zero forty two thousand zero twenty. Uh, thirty four thousand minus five nine eight zero will get twenty eight thousand zero twenty. One lakh forty nine five hundred minus fourteen nine fifty will get one lakh thirty four five hundred. This is just arithmetical calculation. The twist is here only, so just keep in the mind. Now separate cost. Separate cost. They are given six thousand five thousand four thousand. So we are writing six thousand five thousand four thousand. Totally fifteen thousand. So we have to minus it. We'll get share of expense. Uh, say share of joint expenses. Just minus from this to this. We'll get share of Joint expenses, okay. So sixty four five ten minus six thousand fifty eight five ten forty two zero twenty minus five thousand thirty seven zero twenty twenty eight zero twenty minus four thousand twenty four zero twenty. Totally one lakh nineteen five fifty. So next portion we have to calculate. You can see here sales of split off. A uh, split of A. They are given here in the book. You can see here fifty eight five hundred. They are given that one only we are taking sales of split of A. Fifty-eight five hundred. The second requirement minus, or uh, minus this one by product A. We are taking by product A. That is uh, joint cost A is thirty-seven zero twenty. We will get twenty-one four eighty as per the their second requirement. Or uh, if the by product A is not subjected to further processing and is sold to the point of separation, or for which there is a market or fifty-eight five hundred without incurring any selling expenses, would you advise to dispose at this stage? Show the workings. So that only we are solving. Ah, uh, you can see a sales at split of A joint cost whatever we have calculated thirty-seven zero twenty twenty-one four eighty we got. What is the opinion? It is better to sell product. Sell by product A at split off point because it gives the more profit. It is giving the more profit, so we have to split off. This is the answer. If you have any queries or doubt, write down in the comment box. So I will try to solve it. In the next video, I will go the next question. Ah, uh, if I completed the illustration forty five, it will complete joint and by products. Then we'll go the next chapter. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.